Selman Abraham Waksman was born on July 22, 1888, in Pryluka, Russia, to a Russo-Jewish family. His parents were Fradia London and Jacob Waksman. Most of his early schooling was with private tutors, though he graduated from the 5th Gymnasium in Odessa. In the fall of 1911, he left Russia to go to America on a scholarship to Rutgers University in New Jersey. When he arrived, the country was in the middle, middle of a tuberculosis epidemic. For hundreds of years, a disease known as tuberculosis was the cause of many mortalities all across the world. By the time Selman Waksman came to America, the disease was particularly common. There were even wards set up for people infected with tuberculosis at the time. The tuberculosis wards were not a place you wanted to be. The medicine was outdated and the conditions there were terrible. Not to mention the severe overcrowding. The wards were made specifically for those infected and provided literal deathbeds for patients. Tuberculosis is an airborne infection. Once you caught it, your chances of living were slim as your body underwent the symptoms of coughing, wheezing, difficulty breathing, sneezing, night sweats, intense headaches, and intense fatigue. Now thanks to modern day medicine, we have more efficient medicines and screening methods for the identification of tuberculosis, helping those in third world countries as well. Selman received his bachelor's degree in agriculture from Rutgers in 1915. He received his master's in 1916, and the same year he became a naturalized citizen of the United States. In 1918, he got a Ph.D. in biochemistry, and in 1940, he became a professor of microbiology at Rutgers and became the head of the department. While working in labs, Waxman and his team isolated and developed many antibiotics, one of these being streptomycin in 1943, the cure for tu tuberculosis. His development of streptomycin did a lot of good for our communities and was like the best medicine ever. Today, the United Nations World Health Organization has the drug listed as a top priority for every country to have, helping those in third world countries as well, which formerly had a 95% death rate when it came to tuberculosis. Streptomycin is similar to penicillin in the sense that it is capable of not only preventing bacterial infections, but also protein purification. It is an antibiotic given through vaccination that treats not only tuberculosis, but also a wide range of diseases and veterinary uses. In 1952, Selman Waksman received the Nobel Prize for his cure. Over his lifetime, Selman has been given many honorary degrees in medicine, science, agriculture, and law from the following universities, Liège, Athens,
Pavia. Madrid. Jerusalem. Göttingen. Strasbourg. Perugia. And the University of Keio in Japan as well as many American universities and colleges. His wife was named Deborah B. Mitnick before they got married. And they had a son named Byron. Sadly, Selman Waxman passed away on August 16, 1973.